Rao Ji Yu, a 96-year-old Falun Gong practitioner, was abducted by Chinese police in front of a park in Guiyang City in 2022 at the age of 94. Police arrested Rao after finding Falun Gong materials on her. She was then released on bail the same night. Police raided her home and confiscated books about Falun Gong, along with 8,000 yuan, or $1,100. A staff member from the prosecutor's office visited her home in May 2022 and suggested that she could hire a lawyer. Rao then informed the staff that her practice of Falun Gong was lawful and that she had not breached any laws, according to Chinese human rights lawyer Gao Jisheng. In an open letter to the U.S. Congress in 2007, Chinese lawyers are not permitted to handle Falun Gong cases. The lawyers defending Falun Gong practitioners have been detained, imprisoned, tortured, disappeared, and had their law... Rao was among 447 Falun Gong practitioners arrested in recent years for their beliefs, according to a report updated on July 18th by Minghui.org. Minghui can only confirm that Rao was sentenced to 2.5 years in prison with a fine of 10,000 yuan, or $1,375, on December 13, 2022. More details about her trial and sentence are still unclear, and it's also unclear whether she will be sent to prison to serve her sentence. Many Falun Gong practitioners are imprisoned despite being in their 70s or older. Many of them have been sentenced to up to 11 years because of their faith. Falun Gong also known as Falun Dafa, is an ancient spiritual practice based on the principles of truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. This practice became extremely popular among Chinese people after it was introduced to the public in 1992 due to its physical and mental benefits. Official statistics show that up to 100 million Chinese people practiced Falun Gong before the CCP launched a brutal crackdown in July 1999. The persecution of Falun Gong continues throughout China. Practitioners can be detained and imprisoned for spreading information about Falun Gong. The Falun Dafa Information Center estimates that millions of practitioners have been arrested and detained since the persecution began, often enduring torture and mistreatment while detained. Hundreds of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners may have also been killed by the Chinese Communist regime for their organs. Last month, the House of Representatives passed a bill calling for an immediate end to the persecution of Falun Gong. The bill will also punish those involved in forced organ harvesting, backed by the Chinese regime. Piero Tozzi is the staff director of the U.S. Congressional Executive Commission on China. He spoke to thousands of Falun Gong practitioners at a rally in Washington on July 11th, calling for an end to the CCP's 25-year persecution of the Falun Gong. Tozzi said, This persecution must end. It is inhumane. It reveals the barbarity of the Chinese Communist Party. That has to stop.